Hi, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Friends, in today's video, we are going to learn various concepts related to series combination of resistors. As you can see, here we have three resistors of 10 ohm, 20 ohm and 30 ohm and these are connected in series combination. Here we will see what we mean by series combination of resistances or any component that are connected in series and also how current flows in a series combination and what is the voltage across uh, each component or total voltage. We will see each of these uh, one by one so keep watching the video till the end. We will do various experiments with the help of this simulation. So first of all we will learn what we mean by series combination of resistors. As you can see here these uh, three resistors 10, 20 and 30 ohm are in series combination. So in a series combination we have only one path for the flow of current. You can see here this is the 25 volt battery and uh, electrons are flowing in this 10 ohm register from uh, left to right and uh, we know that the flow of uh, the direction of flow of uh, electrons is just opposite to the direction of flow of conventional current. If I show you the flow of conventional current you will see look first the direction of electrons is from left to right okay in this 10 ohm resistor and uh, let's see the conventional current direction it is from right to left why it is so uh, because these electrons are negatively charged okay so how we determine a current current is nothing but the flow of charge in a unit time dq by dt i is dq by dt the change in charge how much uh, charge is flowing through a cross-sectional area per unit time is the current so this is the flow of current as I told you that current is same that is passing through each component of a series combination and what is voltage voltage is actually the total voltage is sum of the individual voltages across each component in this series combination so I will uh, show you with this uh, simulation uh, the voltage and the current in each element okay so first let's measure the voltage okay this is the voltmeter so what is the voltage across this 10 ohm resistor you see it is 4.17 and what is the voltage across this 8.33 and uh, the voltage across this one 30 ohm 12.5 so if you add all these three voltages then it should be equal to the total voltage that is provided by the battery which is 25 volts you can also see that uh, if I put one probe at this end and uh, another at this side so I'm getting 25 so 25 is what 25 is the voltage across this plus voltage across this 20 ohm and plus voltage across this 30 ohm resistor so V net V provided by the battery uh, keep it in mind I will also show you that uh, this happens only when these uh, wires these conducting wires are having no resistance I'm assuming it so these you can see wire resistivity I have uh, put it to zero therefore the there is no potential drop in these there is no loss in these conducting wires that's why the net voltage this 25 would be equal to the voltages across these three resistors in the same way the another property is uh, of a series combination is that uh, current flowing through each element is same so let's uh, measure it with the help of uh, a meter I have a meter here is the a meter that can be used to measure the current here one important thing is uh, that the resistance of uh, an ideal ammeter is zero that's why if I uh, put it in the series circuit with these uh, resistors they will offer it will offer no resistance of its own okay so I will put a meter in the circuit to calculate current so how can I put it a meter is always connected in series and voltmeter is connected in parallel keep it in mind so the current is 0.42 amperes okay 
So this is the current. You can uh, put it anywhere. I, if I would have used it at this place, let's uh, use another ammeter at this place. Look, uh, as I have broken the circuit, no current is flowing through the circuit. The circuit should be complete. So you see, the current is exactly same. Let's make it larger, uh, 0.42 amperes and 0.42 amperes. So at every uh, place in this uh, conducting wire or in this uh, circuit, the current is 4, uh, 0.42 amperes, but voltage was not same. You can also consider this uh, circuit of a series circuit as uh, a pipe and water analogy, where you can assume that this is the uh, water pump, the motor, and it is, uh, pushing the electrons into this circuit and they are offering resistances like uh, some uh, clogging in the wire uh, in the pipe so they are the resistive networks so if uh, some water is uh, flowing at this place the equal amount of water should come out at this another end okay so the current or you can say the water is same throughout the pipe this is the water analogy uh, I can put the voltmeter at this place. So in this way, we learned that uh, if we see the current, then current is the same throughout the circuit at every place. You can measure the current at any place. If I put an uh, meter at this place, let's see what happens. 0.42 ampere. So 0.42 ampere is the current that is flowing through the circuit throughout the circuit and but the voltage is different and some of these voltages is equal to the net voltage provided by the battery. As I told you initially that uh, this happens that uh, the voltages voltage is the sum of uh, all these voltages happens only when there is no resistance offered by these conducting wires I am assuming so uh, wire res resistivity is zero if I increase the resistance of wire then what will happen then definitely the value of current will reduce because the resistance has increased so you see from 0.42 the current is going to decrease I am increasing the resistance of the wires you see now current is 0 0.39, 0 0.37, 0 0.36, but it's still the resistance, it's still the current is same in all these uh, ammeters. They are showing the equal reading because wire is also offering resistance. They, the conducting wires are not resistance less. They are not free of resistance now. There is also potential drop since, uh, okay, let me show you that uh, this is the voltmeter. And if I check the potential difference uh, in this conducting wire also let's see at this place and at this place you see it is showing that uh, there is a potential drop of 0 0.33 volt here but it should be zero when the wire resistivity was zero let's check it out now I have put the wire resistivity zero it is a pure conducting wire Re uh, so the there is no potential drop okay if I increase the resistivity then it will also this conducting wire will also act as a resistance okay continuous uh, potential drop will take place okay as the current flows so you see the value of voltage will increase between the these two points in the wire see 0.11 it is continuously increasing okay so this is the case so now let's uh, again reduce it to zero and uh, put this voltmeter back. So in this way, we learn how the voltage and uh, currents uh, are uh, currents flow in the circuit. And now uh, we will learn what we mean by the equivalent resistance in a series circuit. So equivalent resistance is nothing. The net resistance is the sum of all the three resistances. Okay, uh, what we mean by equivalent resistance actually? Equivalent resistance means if I want to replace these three resistances by a single resistance, okay, or a single resistor, then there should be no effect on the 
other uh, parameters like voltages and uh, currents actually in a resistive network it is the sum of all these resistances so 10 plus 20 plus 30 becomes 60 ohm so it means if I replace this these three resistors with a 60 ohm resistor which is the combination of uh, three resistors so R equivalent is R1 plus R2 plus R3 then there will be no change in the flow of current the value of current so it should be 0 0.41 now let's replace these three resistors with a single resistor so let's remove uh, all these elements and we'll replace this with 60 ohm so let's increase its value 60 ohm now it is of 60 ohm now i will uh, measure the current what happens to the current first uh, for this i need an a meter connect it in series a meter is connected always in series and uh, voltmeter in parallel so you see the current is not changed it is still 0 0.41 ampere so we can easily replace this uh, three resistor combinations by a single resistor of 60 ohm which is the sum of all these three resistors so this is called the equivalent resistance of a series circuit okay and uh, let's see the voltage as we have seen that uh, voltage across all these three resistors was nothing but simply the net voltage okay 25 volts so it is still 25 volts because it is representing the sum of all these three resistors so in this way we have learned various concepts about a series uh, combination of resistors now uh, let me tell you one more thing that uh, there is a big uh, disadvantage in a series combination suppose these are three equipments three appliances that are connected in a series and uh, any appliance gets damaged suppose this uh, second appliance has damaged then what will happen you see if it is removed then the flow of current will stop so there will be no current in the circuit this is the big problem but this does not happen in case of parallel combination if i tell you what happens in a parallel combination uh, i have uh, made one video about the parallel combination you can see it but uh, let me tell you here let's connect uh, three resistors in parallel so these are the three resistors connected in parallel but here you see if uh, these are three appliances and uh, this middle one gets damaged then still the current will keep on flowing through these uh, rest two resistors let's remove this so you see the current is still flowing uh, through this resistor these two resistors so in this way uh, this is the big advantage of parallel combination of uh, using a parallel combination parallel connection in in home appliance connections so we use in home wiring the parallel connection so that uh, other equipments uh, uh, keep on running if one equipment gets damaged but this does not happen in case of series combination now i hope you understood the concept uh, you can watch my another video on uh, parallel combination of resistors to know more about uh, the concepts of parallel resistors in parallel combination actually current is not same current is different through uh, different branches but the voltage is same you can see it in my another video okay so i hope you understood all these uh, concepts about series combination and some basics little basics about uh, parallel combination also and its uh, advantages and disadvantages so friends if you like the video then please uh, click on the like button and share the video with your friends hope you enjoyed the video and for more such videos don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel engineering made easy thank you for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next video till then bye bye and take care friends